if I wanted to recreate every single Mario Party Jamboree minigame in Mario Maker and in seven days, would you think that's possible? Well, probably not. I mean, it would take the average player about an hour or so to make a semi-decent recreation of any one of these minigames. And if you do the math, it is theoretically possible to make all of those minigames. But then you gotta factor in things like sleep, school, touching grass, work. Oh, and don't forget about your three meals a day. And did I already mention procrastination? Why am I doing this? I'm going to regret my decision. Please don't. Going to the gym. What time is it? I think I'm going crazy. I wonder if lunch is ready. <clears throat> now, despite the hundreds of voices telling me this was a bad idea, I was still determined to take on this challenge and see just how far my skills can take me. Will I manage to recreate all 112 Mario Party Jamboree minigames in one week or die trying? Am I making this sound too dramatic? Oh god, you know what, let's just go into day one. <sighs> okay, I need to figure out what game I want to, like, what are the minigames I want to start with. The Ant Trooper one is pretty easy, yeah, um, stamp up. Oh, there it is, yeah, trap one. Uh, let's start with this one, we'll start with this one. Disappear or something like that. Oh, clear pipes. Clear pipes. What if I did like this? You guys think this would work? Might be cooking. Okay. Let's see if they come out like in the same, like one, like right next to each other. Look at this chat. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> yes, we're cooking. Okay, so let's start with the time. It's like a 30 second timer. Um, I did this before, I can't remember how. Okay, let's do a little reconnaissance mission. Okay, yeah, 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 I can do this. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is doable in 3D world. Perfect. Good thing I remember this, because I would have spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to make a setup. It's not the end of the world, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. That's about 30 seconds. Boom. All right, boys. I think we got one down. With my first mini game down, I was feeling pretty good. But to even have a chance at beating this challenge, I was going to need a plan of attack. I did some very advanced math and figured I needed to make a minimum of 12 mini games a day to meet my quota of 112, with the final day requiring an extra four levels. Knowing this, I decided to break my plan into three different steps. First was knocking out all the easy minigames, that way I could get a nice head start early on, cause let's face it, making 12 minigames every day for 7 days is pretty rough. Once I got all of those out of the way, I'd move on to step 2, where I was going to group similar functioning minigames together. So for example, all the coin minigames will be in their own group. See, by grouping all the minigames together, I wouldn't have to waste nearly as much time wondering which one I should make next after completing one. Anyway, once I completed all of those, that would only leave the hardest minigames left to recreate. So the last step was to just re recreate them, obviously. And by whatever means necessary. And if everything went according to plan, oh, this is painful. Me canceling the challenge entirely. It is so demotivating. I don't, I don't know what to do. I should be done by the time the timer hits zero. Man, I don't know why, but I have this feeling some crazy foreshadowing just went down. Eh, it's probably nothing. To be honest, 30 minutes for one uh, course is not bad at all. I'll take that. Okay, so where is it? Trample line. You're somewhere here. There it is. All right. All right, one down. Only 87 more to go. Okay, okay, okay. Pause. So about right now, you're probably wondering why the counter on the bottom left shows 88 minigames when you clearly clicked on this video knowing that there should be 112 of them. And no, it isn't your TikTok rotted eyes playing tricks on you. The actual reason why is a lot simpler. I lied. Kinda. See, out of the 112 minigames present, there's a couple of them that played significantly differently than your typical Mario Party minigame. The first of those being the item minigames, which honestly felt way too short to be worth including in the challenge. Then there's the rhythm minigames, which, as fun as they are, rely on the rhythm aspect of it to actually work. And since I had no clue how to make a properly functioning rhythm game in Mario Maker, and quite frankly didn't have the time to figure it out, I decided it was best to leave them out. The rest of the minigames were smaller stuff like some of the Kaboom Squad minigames, which just don't work in the single player aspect. 
but when you factor in all of those, it brings the total down to 88, which is still a lot by the way, so please don't get mad at me. Anyway, with one minigame on the board, I started to hammer down on a lot of the other easy ones I could find. Pickaxe dash. Oh, look at this chat. Oh. Yes. Granite getaway. I like this part, how close you are to the, uh, to the thing. The edge. That, one, that part is pretty cool. This is also where I learned that it's pronounced granite, not granite. I don't know how I passed school. And even my first boss fight being Brossimo Bros. Books. Okay, that's actually really hard to say. Bossumo Bros Blitzers. There you go. So what I'm thinking, right, is we use these, these like never used on off or on off tracks. We'll have something on the tracks, we'll have like a path and they'll have to go along a path that you'll need to create. Using the on off switch, you'll have to guide whatever item. And then every time you do it correctly, um, you'll get a key to move on to the next room. Let's give this another shot, shall we? See if it's finally working. Okay. Nice. Perfect. That's just how I wanted it to play out. And I just need to copy and paste this like three more times with a different setup. Oh, I forgot to enter the door. I'm sure that's gonna happen to somebody and they're gonna just lose their minds. Alright, I think we got four down. Boss Sumo Bro Blitzers. Something like that. You can tell I was pretty excited to have completed my first boss fight because this is the conversation I had with my chat right after. <laughs> I see what you mean, Electro. Like imagine, <laughs> right? Let's just say you know you're you're in your you know you're in your level, right? And you get to the boss, and the boss is Bowser. But instead of hearing the super you know awesome music that's super dramatic, instead you hear this. You're so skibbity. You're so fan of. <laughs> but from there, I made one more mini game on stream and decided to continue the rest on my own. I was making decent progress while streaming, but holy crap, the second I hopped off stream, I became a different beast. Level after level after level. I knocked them all out. I can't remember what time I finished that, but I'm pretty sure I completed my first 12 minigames around 1am. And that's taking into account the fact that I started around 5pm that day. So with my spirits high in the sky, I caught in the night on day 1. Looking forward to the next. So it is currently 8 a.m. in the morning. I've got 12 mini games recreated so far. Oh my gosh, my voice sounds so dead. <laughs> my plan for today is to try and get a head start because I have until 5 p.m. to start making another 12 mini games. So I'm just gonna start right now and at around 5 or so, I'll stream and continue making some more levels. This is this is painful. Waking up first thing in the morning, playing Mario Maker. Oh, this is painful. Day 2 was pretty similar to the last. I continued focusing on getting rid of all the simpler minigames, but I do remember them being a couple that were harder or took longer than I thought, especially the minigame called Fuzzy Heights. It's a dual minigame where you need to fly higher than your opponent while trying to avoid fuzzies on tracks to win. So I had the brilliant idea of using vertical auto scroll to make spawning more consistent. Well, that was my biggest mistake, because any level with auto scroll automatically requires twice as much time to make sure it works properly. So what would have normally taken me like 30 minutes to make ended up taking me more like an hour. But overall, day two went by smoothly. There were a couple of rough bumps along the way, though it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'll be honest guys, everything I've told you so far was basically the prologue to this story. Day 3 is probably when my real feelings start to show. 
when the stakes start to get a lot higher and when this challenge got a lot tougher. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing for the floor is falling is using on-off blocks. Above the level, I'll have a shell constantly switching an on-off switch to make the block switch state. So you'll have to constantly try and make your way to the uh, blocks that are <sighs> Okay, we we need I, I need to talk about this. I've been having this problem where this newly purchased PC that I bought has just been constantly crashing. It just happened like, I don't know, a couple of days ago. And it's been driving me crazy. It's been causing me to lose so much footage. But that's not even the problem, to be honest. The problem is just how it's constantly looming in my mind. This thing is just like, Am I, am I gonna, I don't want to stream and then all of a sudden it's crashing like three, four times within that time. And it's just not, it's not a fun experience. And even when I'm recording, it's like, like I've gotten a good amount of footage. Should I stop here and wait for it to crash? Or do I just like keep going and, you know, hope for the best? It is so mentally exhausting. To constantly have that thought in your head it it just makes it just takes away all of the fun from this challenge it's not like i can't fix it i can i could easily you know call customer support and have them fix it the problem is that i don't know how long that's going to take how long it's going to take away from the challenge specifically so i essentially have two options i can call customer support you know and then we can figure something out i'm sure they can figure out what's happening but that would essentially mean me canceling the challenge entirely or i can just try and push through it for the next four days of just crashes and losing footage and whatever and i, I don't know if i can do that because it is just so tiring it is actually it is so demotivating i don't i don't know what to do i actually just don't yo yo what's up so uh here's the deal i got a little uh bet i guess you could say in a way that mm. so hear me out obviously you know that i'm doing my uh recreating all the mario party jamboree mini games in mario maker that thing right yeah yeah you know we're both dokkan players and stuff like that you know we like to do a little gambling and stuff just a little okay. just a little okay. <laughs> here's my proposition all right so we're on i am on day four right now i have 38 out of the 88 tracks or tracks mini games recreated so far, you know, just a couple of mini games. Three out of the eight mini games. Holy, okay. okay. So, here's what I'm proposing. If by uh, Sunday at 5 p.m., if okay. I don't manage to recreate all of the mini games, uh -huh. I will pay you a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, but what if you win? That's the catch. There's no. There's no. Uh, there's no. There's nothing. There's no risk for me. Yeah, there's no risk for you. There's no punishment for you. So if I win, you just got you just get to walk away home like nothing ever happened. Basically. So, so you're asking me if I want a hundred dollars on Sunday. Basically. Okay. If I if I do not manage to recreate all of them, I will give you the one hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Deal. Yeah. yeah deal. You down for it? Deal. 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 All right. On Sunday at five p.m., I guess we'll call again and uh, I'll show you the levels, and we'll go we'll from there. See. Yeah. This was monumental for me. I was on the verge of canceling this entire challenge because of the stupid problem I kept having. And I knew that if I didn't figure something out, I wouldn't last the next three days. So adding stakes to this challenge was just what I needed. The person you just heard a moment ago is my friend, Jim. Him and I have done a couple bets in the past, 
but never quite on this level, and never with money on the line. Now to some of you, $100 might not sound like a lot, but dear Jake, Jin here isn't just the type of person to win a bet and walk away. He will make sure you remember your loss at his hands. And I'm not exaggerating either. Once in a Mario Kart race, this guy threw a blue show literal seconds before I reached the finish line, making me end up in 9th place and him in 1st. Ever since then, he always makes sure to bring it up every now and again and remind me of that painful loss. So this wasn't just about the money, it was about my pride. And what I also didn't mention to him is that while I would give him $100 for not completing the challenge, I could end up owing him a lot more. Let me explain. See, for every minigame I didn't complete, I would add an extra $3 on top of the $100. So for example, let's say I made 85 out of the 88 minigames. That means I'd actually have to give him $106. So while I told him he'd get $100, that amount could easily go as far as to double in quantity. So I knew I had to get my head back in the game. And I did. Because the next day, I dialed the f*** in. Yeah. That's how dialed in I was. Alright boys, I've got a little over 48 hours left in this challenge, so it's time to start knocking out some minigames, because there is no way I am losing this now. Perfect throw so that kills the bomb, top, but doesn't make it all the way through the semi-solid, No. Okay, yeah, I don't think it worked. I think I'm just gonna save this and then come back to this, because this is a lot more hectic than I thought it'd be. Here's one, and one more, and wait, I already did squeaky shakedown? Oh my gosh, you've got to be joking. Look at this, look at this. I already made one earlier. This is the original one. This can't be real. <laughs> and Luigi's rescue operation makes 48. Alright, I think that's a good place to end it for today. Tomorrow's the start of the weekend, and while most people would probably take that time to relax and eat cereal to their favorite show or something like that, I'm going to be making some more mini games. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this to be over. Okay, we're at 50. Only 10 more. I say that like it's free. <laughs> I'm going insane. I'm going to turn into the Joker in real life. I decided that I wanted to spend the last two days of the challenge making some more minigames on stream. And even with the fear of potential crashes still on my mind, completing this challenge was way more important to me. But even with all the determination in the world, it still didn't change the fact that the last set of the minigames were on a different level. See, I had long since completed step one of my plan. In fact, I was even past step two, recreating minigames that were grouped together, which means the only thing left was step three, the hardest minigames. These could be considered hard for a number of reasons. Maybe it was a very intricate minigame with a lot of moving parts, maybe it was a minigame with multiple other minigames in it, or maybe there were some that I had no idea how to make on day one so I put them in step three but they actually turned out to be extremely easy to make. Yeah, there were a couple of those. But point is, I was in the end game. So much so that I had to pick the easiest among the hardest to recreate so that I could dedicate more time to the hardest minigames. Nevertheless, I wasn't ready to lose this challenge. So I made minigame after minigame after minigame after minigame. Yo, so it's that time. I've got the mini games here, like I said. Let's see if you didn't. Um, sorry, you want me to count this down? Yeah. Just... Okay. 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 Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So demotivating. I don't, I don't know what to do. 28, 32. Pay you $100. 44. 48. There is no way I am losing this now. 56. 60, we're getting close. It was about my pride. 68. 72. Oh, I can't wait for this to be over. 76. 80.
Eighty. Oh, okay, eighty. Oh, wow. Yep, I was so close. I, I saved the last for the the hardest mini games for last, and they're hard, man. They're hard to recreate. You that's, know? that's still impressive. Like doing making eighty in how many days again? Seven. It right? was seven. It was seven. Yeah. There was one day that I just didn't make any because I had some problems. Excuses. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I guess you're a hundred dollars richer. <laughs> Free payday. Oh man, I can't believe this. This is why Free you don't payday. gamble, kids. That's why you don't bet. <laughs> yeah. I regret yeah, my decisions. Totally.